So one thing I've realized is that a lot of issues tend to be muddied when you remove the racial and ethnic components of them. And this is why there are many people in sort of nonpartisan think tanks like libertarians and alt writers, fascists, who when it comes to a middle ground issue, they cannot hold a stance because both sides of the equation seem to have their strengths and their weaknesses and they can't really come up with their own narrative. You see this a lot with healthcare, you see this a lot with abortion, and you see this a lot with just economics. When it comes to environmentalism, I see things like what we're dealing with now with the, plant, the Paris Climate Accord, and Donald Trump pulling out of that shit, and the reaction that it got. And I can definitely see a racial component to it. And the stance I've taken is very similar to... Hold on. I am too far away from this camera. Very similar to Charles Manson. Obviously a very edgy guy who's wasted on teenage girls with daddy kinks when his fan base should be guys like me. Guys like many of the far rightists, alt writers. And that said, a healthy environment is also one with a good racial component. You look at the difference between DR and Haiti or Africa or Australia where slash and burn farming really starts to take a toll on the environment and turns lush jungles into very alien like wastelands. And I think the fact that a lot of our environmental policies are essentially wealth transfers from the first world western predominantly white nations into third world countries or even fourth world countries and you can clearly tell that there is something more to these climate change proposals than just climate change and like Charles Manson I do believe that ultimately if we want to deal with many of these logistical problems it's not going to come down to what fuel we switch to, what energy source we start using. It's going to come down to going back to the horse. It's going to go back to pulling back on the scale at which we've logistically designed our cities. It's going to go to urban planning and in many ways how we structure our roads and our world map if we want to be weebs about it RPG geeks because I remember there was a TED talk a couple of seminars from a very logistical thinker who talked about streets and roads and how we've really made especially in America our structures very ugly made specifically just for the convenience of driving as a result we have the death of the old school downtown environment and introduction of ugly things like suburbs and suburbs I may like suburban style houses but this type of structure especially the one I'm living in at the moment is not natural. It's a very modernistic design for a very modernistic era. And we have scaled ourselves in a very strange way when we've pocketed ourselves into these areas. When it comes down to it, skyscrapers that are built for the purpose of us living cramped up together, projects, facilities, 
where lower income people are being put experimentally. Studio apartments for the swivel variant. Logistically, many of these plans are not for the interests of the environmentally damaged, those who live in areas that are becoming more destitute and are suffering from the effects of any environmental damage we cause. I'm not talking about what we define as climate change, because climate change has been really politicized as an issue. And the language that climatologists speak in and their narrative would have seemed politically suicidal and contradictory to what they said 10 or even 5 years ago. There was still that claim that in two years, parts of Manhattan and the Bronx, well, not really the Bronx, would be sunken underwater. And this doomsday calendar had kept being pushed forward. Talks of the poles and how they've melted and they've mostly come back. But that's not what I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about that because that's the hateful heretic's sort of realm of expertise. And he's made interesting stuff on that. But mostly that's tangential when it's compared to what we're doing right now where the entire first world is playing good goy to a Zionist, a globalistic structure that's kind of pandering to the third world at the moment. And if we really do want to talk about actual environmental strategies to fix some actual problems we're dealing with, I mean, Arjun Templar has already made a lot of funny videos about just China economy strong and the weird efficiency hoeing that Chinese businesses and government policies will do. Building cities that no one's ever going to live in, factories that are wasting precious resources just to churn out GDP numbers that don't actually equate to diddly squat. There's a lot of factors to take into when it comes to environmentalism, when it comes to issues that we deal with on the daily. And that racial component, it's just like when I talked about healthcare not too long ago. There are various components that are not being looked into. And I think it's really sad. So regardless, I'm with Charles Manson. I really want to find those TED Talks on that one dude. He had a very interesting name, but I saw him three years ago talking about these things. And his content was really good. Let me see if I can Google it right now. Oh no, they, they got the doo-doo TED Talks. It's usually the really good ones are hard to come by for TED Talks because everyone's trying to sell their own books. But it's been your boy, Miss Swanka7. And I guess I'll link everything later. Hope everyone's chill right now. And if you mad as shit about something, I hope you let it all out in a very healthy and productive way. Peace out and suck my dick.